this is a Geiger counter kit I picked up at Maker Faire in New York City. Uh, it's a pretty simple kit to assemble. Uh, it took me about maybe 20 minutes or so. Uh, just some of the key components. This is obviously the tube. Uh, there's a 555 timer which uh, regulates the high voltage circuit. And uh, this is an AT Tiny uh, which kind of runs the show. Uh, you can also see there's a serial port here, so you can uh, get data logging information off that. There's also an ICSP port, uh, which is really cool because you can use it to reprogram the AT-Tiny. So if there's something about the behavior of the board you want to change, you can do it pretty readily uh, because all the source code is posted online. Uh, this here is a pulse out, so if you want to just get like a line level and do your own counting, you can do that too. And this is a speaker. We'll go ahead and turn it on. We'll go ahead and bring a source up to it here. I've got a lantern mantle. This is an old school lantern mantle that contains thorium. And uh, yeah, it seems like that's pretty warm. So I've hooked uh, this guy up to my computer using a uh, serial TTL to USB connector. Uh, it's basically a $15 cable you can get from any place that sells Arduino stuff. Uh, and it gives you this nice kind of running log here of uh, counts per second, counts per minute, uh, equivalent dose, uh, and then also shows you the sample rate. Um, so right now it's in slow mode, which makes sense. Uh, I think it's averaging over the course of a minute uh, because uh, it's really monitoring background radiation and you want a long sample time to have it be meaningful. So I'm going to go ahead and bring a, a sample up to it here. And you can see it switches to fast mode, uh, so it's a smaller sample interval, and you can really watch the uh, count go up very quickly. So I also own a CDV700, uh, which is kind of the classic big yellow Geiger counter. Uh, this setup produces pretty similar results. Uh, it's a really great deal at 100 bucks. You're basically looking 200 bucks to get a used Geiger in any sort of decent condition uh, off eBay. Uh, not hard to assemble. Uh, it'll take about 20 minutes to put together. You don't need to be an expert. Uh, really uh, nice and that's well documented. The code's all up online so you can hack it. Uh, if you want to connect this to an Arduino uh, or want to connect it, say, an analog meter, that stuff that'd be pretty easy to do as a little weekend project. Uh, so uh, two thumbs up.